Welcome to my scenario showcase, Multiverse Mania. I hope you enjoy. What is the multiverse? The multiverse is the theory that there are an infinite number of parallel universes that have the same basic principles but different circumstances. An example would be a universe where the Nazis won World War II, or where we are stuck in the Ice Age. Four reasons why the multiverse exists. Number one. It is believed that the shape of space and time is infinite, meaning at some point it repeats itself, creating another universe. These repeated universes would have the same basic principles as our universe, but they would act differently as we discussed previously. There would be endless possibilities. Number two. This second reason is called a daughter universe. This is sort of like a choose your own adventure book. Every time you make a decision, a new universe is created with that outcome. Say you have to choose to go right or left. There would then be two daughter universes created, one where you would choose left and the other where you would choose right. Therefore, an infinite number of universes could be created as long as decisions are being made. Number three. My third reason, third reason is about math. It is believed that rather than math being a man-made tool, it is a universal structure existing everywhere. This universal structure is called mathematical nature. It is believed that a world could still work without humans in it because of mathematical nature. Mathematical nature is like the prison, basic principles of the universe I was discussing earlier. The fourth reason. This is the biggest reason of them all. At the end of our observable universe lies light waves emitted from the earliest times, called the cosmic microwave background. Rather than being positively or negatively curved, space just keeps going on. It never curves in and on itself, and there are no gaps. Because it keeps going, more and more universes are exposed to us. When the Big Bang happened, an effect called an internal inflate inflation occurred. This is the theory that some pockets of space continue to inflate or grow, while others do not. Each universe is known as a bubble. Our universe has finished growing, but there are many other bubbles in space and time that would have different laws of physics and would still be growing. Therefore, space is ever-expanding, causing new universes to be discovered and created. Can we travel to other universes? Well, there are several theories on how to do this. Number 1. The Big Bang Multiverse This theory is our most prominent reason for the multiverse existing, aka the last reason we discussed. If you believe this theory, then you would believe traveling there and back is impossible. Number 2. Quantum Physics If you believe the quantum physics sides of things, you would be thinking of the Choose Your Own Adventure multiverse. You would believe we have already traveled to other universes by choosing different paths. Number 3. Higher Dimensions If you believe in this theory, you will think that if you come from a universe with higher dimensions, you can travel between universes. Unfortunately, our universe most likely doesn't have the right dimensions. Number 4. String Theory the most believed theory, people think that there are other universes within our universe. However, these universes are super small, small as subatomic particles. We cannot reach them. So, is it possible to reach other universes? Currently, no. The Big Bang, quantum physics, and higher dimension theories will most likely never work. However, string theory could. Think in the terms of Ant-Man. Ant-Man uses pin particles to shrink down. If he shrinks down far enough, he reaches the levels of subatomic particles. In the movies, Ant-Man shrinks down small enough to manipulate time. It is my understanding that if Ant-Man could bend time, he could also be able to bend space. Space and time are very closely related, and if Ant-Man makes the right moves, he could enter a parallel universe. So, with current technology, do we have the ability to shrink or go back in time or enter other universes? Sadly not. Pin particles are believed to have been made from subatomic particles, but no one really knows for sure, and they aren't real or scientific to begin with. However, I believe that one day, someone will invent a way to collect some atomic particles, shrink down, and travel to other universes. However, there is potentially one other way. Speed. One way to travel to other universes is speed. The fastest subatomic particle is called a neutrino. These travel almost as fast as the speed of light. Since these are subatomic particles, and they are the fastest thing besides light, if we could harness neutrinos, we could theoretically use their power to travel fast enough to bend space and travel to other universes. Finally, I would like to leave you tonight with the model of a daughter universe I created. As you can see from the middle picture, the marble starts at an intersection. If it goes to the left, it has a certain outcome. But if it goes to the right, it has a different outcome. This is like the Choose Your Own Adventure book I was talking about earlier. Thank you all for listening and have a great night.